Awesome. We are recording. I'm excited to be here today because we have a special, special guest, which I'll share that information in a little bit because I already got a, see, I already got ahead of myself. <laughs> Get used to it, ladies. That's just how I am. Okay. That's how I roll and that's okay with me. I hope it's okay with you. So I'm going to share my screen really quick here and we're going to show you what we have in store today. And I did something very special. Patty, you can really appreciate this because you've been with me on this journey of these networking meetings for uh, two years, I think. I actually prepared an agenda. <laughs> Yay! We have an agenda so I can keep myself on track. Well, as best as I can. So first of all, I wanna welcome you to the Women Action Takers. I do have a fan blowing on my face right now because it's like 800 degrees in our house today. So I have a fan blowing on me. But welcome to the Women Action Takers networking event. This is an opportunity for you ladies to come and share who you are, what you're all about, and then also listen to amazing speakers that can help you grow your business. My name is Linda Sunshine West and I'll introduce myself in just a little bit. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Before we get started, here's what you ladies can expect for today. And that is that this is a judgment-free safe zone. I'll share really quick why this is really important to me. Um, probably like many of you, I grew up in a very judgmental household. It was an abusive alcoholic household. And it caused me to have so many fears in my life, scared to talk to people, scared to say anything for fear of judgment. And so once I started to kind of like discover who I am through a life coach that I worked with, I realized that judgment was so prevalent in my life that I wanted to try to eliminate it as much as possible. So my, my networking events, everything I do, it's a judgment-free safe zone. It's a place for you to feel safe to say, you know, talk about whatever it is you want to talk about and to share your voice with the world. So when you are listening to everybody going around, when we get to our 30 second commercials, please listen with an open heart and an open mind and be judgment free. That's so important because that's when we can hear what everybody is saying. Okay. And then next, um, when we do the 30 second commercials, there's going to be a little bit of a twist at the end. So be surprised when it comes up because I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. And then today we have our special guest speaker is Rhonda Schur. She is a LinkedIn strategist, LinkedIn expert, and I'm super excited to, to learn what we're going to learn today about LinkedIn because I don't know about you ladies, but I've been on LinkedIn for about five years and I totally suck at it. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really know why I'm there. I just know I'm there and I'm doing stuff. I'm just doing stuff. It's not strategic but I'm doing stuff, right? So I wanna learn how to be strategic about what I'm doing, and that's what Rhonda's gonna help us with today. And then I'm throwing in some wild cards, and I'm excited about adding wild cards to the mix. And my wild cards will be men, because this is a women action takers group. It is all about women. We've always had women until today, our first man is gonna join us. And I wanna share with you why I'm doing wild cards. I have so many mentors who are men. I have met some amazing connections, like for example, the founder of Ugg Boots is a dear friend of mine. Why wouldn't I invite him to speak to you so that you have an opportunity to ask questions of him? The, the Make-A-Wish founder, founder um, creator and founder, Frank Shankwitz, I'm in one of his movies, like his movie's called Wish Man, and I'm an executive producer. And so why wouldn't I invite Frank to come in and speak to you. So I'm throwing in these wild cards and I'll be doing them periodically where the men have an opportunity to come in and share and you have an opportunity to ask them questions. So I'm excited about that. So today's wild card is the um, VP of Be Connected and it's a very new platform out there. It's a, like a one of those ground floor beta testing programs that they're in right now. It's absolutely awesome. I just joined it yesterday. If you wanna check it out, go to Women Action Takers dot be connected with a k connected dot com to check that out and we'll be talking about that a little bit more later today my name is linda sunshine west and i am your hostess i am a collaboration strategist i've been in business for six years trying to hone in like what is it that i do you know what how do i help people the most and i figured out that really what i do the best is i connect people and as a connector, there's a lot of different opportunities to work with me. If you want to you know, see what I'm all about, like on the screen there, you'll see some of the different things that I do after the networking event is over. So we end at 1230 Pacific time, 330 Eastern time after the networking event is over. If you want to connect with me to find out how you can take part in one or a lot of these different things that I have going on, go ahead and stick around to after the meeting. And then... 
Our next session is Saturday, August 29th with Jody Kodish. She worked for NBC and she was fired and she's going to tell us how that was the best thing that ever happened in her life. So please join us for that. I'll put a link in the chat so you can click on that link to sign up today. And then join us in the Women Action Takers Network Facebook group. On Facebook, it's just uh, groups slash women action takers. So join us there today. And I think I am on schedule. Let me see. Oh my gosh, I'm ahead of schedule. I love this. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get into our 30 second commercials. And uh, this is how it's going to work. We're going to have 30 seconds each. I'm going to go around the horn and I'm going to ask everybody to introduce you know, your name, what you do, and how do you use LinkedIn? I already shared how I use it kind of randomly, you know, so you're just going to introduce yourself, say who you are and how you're using LinkedIn. This is going to help Rhonda know who's in the room. This is going to help all of us know who's in the room and what our level, our experience level is on LinkedIn. And I truly believe that a lot of our connections come from the challenges that we have, not from the, the greatness that we are. Like we're all great. And I know that, but our connections are going to come from those challenges that we have. We're going to relate to each other. Like if, if anybody here was like, oh yeah, I'm totally like Linda. I'm totally a random poster. I've been on there for a long time. I don't know what the heck I'm doing either then we're going to have that connection right there. So please be vulnerable. Again, this is a judgment-free safe zone for you to share that. So, oops, I'm going to get on my screen share. And what I'm looking for today is someone who would like to volunteer to be our timer. We still got a 30 second timer. Can I have, can I find a volunteer? Anybody just raise your hand saying no hands raised. Okay. Well, I'm, here we go, Patricia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for jumping in and, and volunteering. I saw Patty's hand go up too, but Patricia, I saw yours first. So thank you so much. So how this is going to work is we're going to go around the horn here and I'm going to call on your name. And when your name comes up, you're going to, again, you're going to tell us um, what your name is, what you do, and how you use LinkedIn. Okay. So I'm going to just call out names. And if I miss you, please let me know at the end because I don't, the, num the names jump all over the place. So I never can remember like who did, did I call on that person or not? So it's hard for me to remember that. So let me do this here. And I hope your ladies are all having a great day. I'm, I'm excited to, to learn about LinkedIn. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to learn what I'm doing wrong <laughs> and how I can do it right. So let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to start with Anita Bennett. So, so as your name is called, go ahead and unmute yourself and then go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us what you do and again, you get 30 seconds. So Patricia is going to kind of like raise her hand or something. She's going to say, you got 20 seconds. Oh, she's got a pink card which is a red card. And so the red card means your 30 seconds is up. So time to cut yourself off. Um, I'm pretty good about muting you if you keep going. Okay. So don't let that happen. <laughs> you don't want to stop you in the, I try not to stop you in the middle of a sentence, but just watch for Patricia. She's going to have that card up. So Anita, welcome to the women action takers and um, mm -hmm. let us know who you are, what you do and how you use LinkedIn. Hi everyone. This is my first meeting. My friend Debbie Love told me about this group and just said how fantastic it was. And so I needed to check it out. And so far it's been awesome. But anyway, my name is Anita. I have Sunset Bay Candy Company and there's so many ways to show somebody that you care. And we believe something, how, something delicious and handmade from the heart can be very powerful. So that's what we do. We help folks connect and um, make those connections. We've been using LinkedIn for a long time, but I don't know how to use it. So I'm so Yay. excited to be here. <laughs> You're in the right place. That's for darn sure. Well, thank you. I need to connect with you because I'm having a, a chocolate festival next month. So let's make sure to connect. Okay. So that's how it does. If there's somebody that you want to connect with, go ahead in the chat let them know that you want to connect with them. And then after you've done, you know, giving your uh, 30 seconds, please drop your links in the chat so the ladies can know how to connect with you. Whether it's your Facebook, even if you have a Facebook group, because I believe in abundance and I don't want to hold anybody back from sharing what it is that they do. So share either websites, you know, your social media, your, um, if you have groups or what have you, if you have a launch that's coming up, go ahead and share it in the comment and the chat there. And it's um, on your left or right side. I don't know where it is for you guys. So just find the chat. Okay. Next up is Carolyn Wood. 
Hello, everybody. I'm Carolyn Wood. I'm a mindset coach with an HR background. So I work with men and women looking to up-level their careers without having to sacrifice what they deeply want for their personal lives. And I am on LinkedIn, but I haven't used it to its full potential, so I'm looking forward to learning today. Thank you. Yay! I'm trying something new, ladies, so if you, if you see a lot of weird stuff going on, that's just me, okay? I'm just... <laughs> I'm trying to spotlight everybody as they speak. So, so bear with me here as, as I do this. Okay. So Kat, you are up. Kat Detta. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Kat Detta. I actually have two businesses, but I want to concentrate on my notary business. I am a mobile notary uh, here in the San Diego area. My specialty is is loan document signings. However, I've been working with estate planning attorneys for the last three years now. So um, that's my focus is just working with, you know, the, the, the private sector. Um, I use LinkedIn to connect with other professionals in not only my industry, but industries that can also connect with me. So, but I would like to also use it as in its full potential. Cool. Thank you so much, Kat. Thanks for being here. So next up is Debbie Love. And remember, you're introducing yourself, your name, what you do, and how you use LinkedIn. You got 30 seconds. And Patricia Runblade is running the clock. So when she puts her little red card up there, time to cut it down. So Debbie, you're up. You're on the spotlight, girl. <laughs> uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. My name is Debbie Love. Um, I am the founder of Heads Up Self-Defense for Women. I teach women not only how to fight back, but the psychological effects of, uh, of being attacked and what you need to do. Um, anyway, I appreciate being here. I forgot that last question. LinkedIn. How do you use LinkedIn? <laughs> oh, I, I don't use it well. That's why I'm here. <laughs> awesome. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. So next up, we have Donna Weber. Hi, I'm Donna. This is my first time here. Thank you to Debbie for inviting me to this great group. Um, I uh, have a company called Anoint for Wellness, and I teach people how to live a healthier lifestyle using doTERRA essential oils and products. Um, as far as LinkedIn, I joined LinkedIn when I was a special ed teacher, elementary school, um, just because that's what my school was doing at the time, and now I'm using it uh, for my business and I really don't know a whole lot about it. I've posted a couple things, but not really sure what, it, what, what, uh, how to use it. Thank you. Well, thanks for being here. Debbie, so far you're the winner. You had two guests that, that you appeared today. Um, you know, it's interesting, right? Cause a lot of us probably joined LinkedIn just because, right? You said, because that's what, you know, people were doing and now it's like, now you're trying to use it for something different. So let's get you learning what you can use it for in your business. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for being here today. So next up we have Dr. Emily. Uh, Dr. Emily Latran. Oh, oh, Emily, you're, let's see. I don't see your video on. Yeah. Good. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and introduce yeah. yourself. Yeah. Tell us what you do and how you use LinkedIn. Okay. Thank you. I apologize. I do not have a zoom attire on, so I'm not going to put my, <laughs> <laughs> my camera on. Uh, I am the best mom in the world. Uh, I'm a, Certified high performance coach, a uh, international speaker, and also uh, training as a dentist. And um, I actually recently launched a book uh, talking about women empowerment. So it's a great uh, opportunity to be here with every one of you. Thank you, Linda, for, for inviting me. Um, I, I, I've been on LinkedIn uh, recently, and I have 9,500 co connections. But I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. what, I, what I have gotten were several invitations on LinkedIn, you know, uh, be on a podcast and things like that. So I've gotten opportunity from LinkedIn, but I think as far as, um, let's say, getting leads and business, uh, not exactly. So oh, I, I see, I see Patricia's red card. I'm going to cut you off, Emily. But yeah, that's okay. awesome. I'm with you. I'm about okay. 8,000 8, connections on LinkedIn and I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. So let's figure okay. this Thank out. You. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for being here today. Next up, we have Ivana. So you want to share with us who you are, what you do, and how you use LinkedIn. Hi, everyone. This is my first meeting. Thank you, Linda, for inviting me. I am the owner of uh, Innovative HR Support. It's a new company that I launched in January of this year. 
if, as luck should have it, we have a pandemic. So <laughs> this is also a little slow right now. Um, I do use LinkedIn and mostly I use it to share information that it relates to uh, COVID-19, uh, requ uh, especially requirements for reopening and staying safe. Um, I've been on LinkedIn for a very long time as an employee and now as an owner. As an owner, I'm having a little bit of a hard time trying to figure mm. out how to use it. Well, fantastic. You're in the right place. I'm glad to have you here and thanks for being here. We have a lot, a lot of first timers. Welcome, everybody. So next up, we have Kim Ling Ling. Did I say your name right? I just, I like your name. Your last name is so cool. Yeah, I'm going to change mine to Ling Ling. <laughs> <laughs> You're up, um, Kim. Well, hello, everybody. I'm uh oh, you're muted. Can you guys hear her? No, you got muted somehow. Uh, oh, there you are. There you are. You can hear me now? Yeah. So, Patricia, let's start her clock over again. Let's give her that. Okay. <laughs> you're up, Kim. I'm Ling um, from Pennsylvania. So, it's afternoon here for me, but this is my second meeting. Um, and I enjoyed the first one tremendously. Uh, I am an author and a freelance writer, and I just kind of launched that. I work full time, but I'm trying to step by step get into my freelancing more so I can eventually do that full time. That is my goal. I'm writing short stories. I'm in the midst of a couple book projects right now and collaborative book projects. Um, LinkedIn, I'm on it. I'm using it a lot more than I used to. And I've learned some tips and tricks, but I'm not 100% on it. So like everybody else, it seems, I'm just throwing stuff out there and doing the best I can with it, with what I know, my limited knowledge. <laughs> awesome. Well, welcome. Again, you're in the right place. So really excited to have you here today. And thanks for showing up second time. Awesome. <laughs> Kathy Abbott, are you available to speak? I see you're muted and your video is not showing. Kathy Abbott? Let's see here. And remember to put your links in the, I see the links are going in the chats here today. Um, somebody had some problem getting on here. Did any of you have, others have problems getting on here this morning? Some did and some didn't. Okay. Well, you know, thanks for being persistent and, and making it through. I do appreciate it. I got to figure out a better way to make this happen. But okay, so I'm going to skip past um, Kathleen for now because I don't see her hopping on. So next up is Latara. Hello? Hello, you're on. Hi. I started uh, my own business as well this year. Uh, Ideal Marketing Solutions, Inc. I help uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners brand themselves like billion dollar businesses. And if anybody here feels stuck, I would love it if you reached out to me and we can find your blind spots and help you move forward. Um, as far as LinkedIn goes, first of all, before you cut me off, <laughs> I wanted to say I would love it if you, if Linda and Emily could share a little bit on how you guys grew your groups to be so huge <laughs> on LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm not even at a thousand yet, so that'd be awesome. Um, I'm primarily using it just to make a connection with um, professionals because if you if you are um, reaching out to them like out of the blue they're like who are you but like that kind of builds a little bit of credibility if they see you on LinkedIn first and they can see your profile and you become more of a real person so that's the main reason I'm using it um, I'm also like you know just uh, reaching you know messaging a lot of people just to um, talk to them about their businesses and stuff like that Awesome. Thanks, Latara. Thanks for being here. And thanks for being in the Women Action Takers Referral Network. Excited to have you on there. Thank you so much. <laughs> so next up, we have Patty Mays. There she is. Oh. Hey, there I am. Hi, I'm Patty Mays, and I'm a holistic business life coach, and I specialize in helping you communicate with yourself so that you can be interdependent in relationships. I'm uh, enrolling women who are stuck in their uh, situations, and I use a breathing technique called the MACE method and also essential oils to help you ground, center align and ground to get uh, conscious, clear, and congruent. LinkedIn. And LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn. I've been on LinkedIn for a long time, and uh, I haven't learned how to use it effectively, but I get a lot of requests to connect, and I definitely want to use it for my business. Yay. Awesome. Ready to awesome. Learn. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being with me all these years. Lori Beltran, you are in the house. 
I haven't seen you in a while, Lori. It's good to see you. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yes, I was one of the, the the lucky ones that couldn't get in, Linda. But you know me. I'm You're like, in. I'm like a tick on a hound dog. Okay. <laughs> so my name is Lori Beltran, to those that don't know me. And I am a uh, financial advisor for women. I work for a not-for-profit organization that's been around. And what I do is I help women access where they are, where they want to be. And then we create a perfect roadmap so that when it comes time to retirement, the option of having to work at Walmart as a door greeter and working there because you want to is an option, not something that's mandatory. So, well, uh, hello everyone. And thank you, Linda, for allowing me to be here. And really quick, because you're 30 seconds up, how are you using LinkedIn? Okay, I have been using LinkedIn for probably nine years, but it's something that's posted. It's nothing that I really work. It's just, uh, it's, and I'm compliant, so it's very difficult for me to mm. do anything more than what I do. So awesome. I that's a great topic. To, that's so. a great, awesome. Well, thanks so much for being here. I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're like a tick on a hound dog, whatever that means. <laughs> I love those things. <laughs> Next up, we have Lorna. Thank you. Hi. Um, whoops, I've got a thing in front of my eyes here and I can't see. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Lorna Rasmussen, and I'm speaking to you from Costa Rica. And there's a reason for me telling you that, but I want to first tell you what I do. I, I am one of the founding members of Ladies of Justice for Legal Shield, and my basic focus right now, although we help business, small businesses and a lot of other areas, is people to get their wills done. And uh, for, for that, I've put together a free will workshop. Come and attend, make sure that you're up to date. If you're not up to date, um, make sure you get your will done. I am um, actually, Rhonda, hello, I think you probably remember me. We met a couple of years ago. You had a big impact on me in, in encouraging me to go on LinkedIn. And being in Costa Rica, I have to meet people on LinkedIn because I have no other way of doing it. So it's really about building my business, but I need to learn more. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here. Appreciate you being here. And it really is important for those, those wills, like just looking at them right now, especially. So thank you so much. Next up, we have Lynn Lawson. Good morning or afternoon or whatever it is. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Lynn Lawson. I have event prep. I plan meetings and conventions for companies from 10 people up to 10,000 people from site selection all the way up to the closing of a meeting. Um, I do all aspects of it, little bit of it or all of it. So whatever a part of um, event planning you need. LinkedIn. Um, I have used LinkedIn for many years, but sadly it changes as fast as I get to know it. So I'm here actually just to um, see what new I can get out of LinkedIn because literally they change it. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Next up we have Malika. <sighs> there you are. I, yeah, I was unmuting and then I got a request to unmute so okay you guys can hear me right yes okay cool so i'm alika simmons i am the creator of the momentology method and i create experiences for women to get clarity build confidence and stand in conviction of whatever it is that they want to do in their space and in, in the world uh linkedin for me is awesome i get um a lot I've, I got, I've gotten clients from linkedin but i also use it for um, promotions i'm also a coo for net for a nonprofit and healthcare disparity so i use it for both my nonprofit and my my personal and just to stay in touch with the world so awesome thank you and look at that it was exactly 30 seconds good job <laughs> next up we have michelle hoffman I am here. I am just off the beach from a really good run. So welcome to my crazy hair moment. I'm Michelle Hoffman. I help you increase your revenue and resources and you can put any number on that. I have consistently helped people make $120,000 in eight to 12 weeks by realizing the value that you have as a leader for yourself, in your home, in your community, and in your business. I use LinkedIn to connect with people and establish myself as an expert in my industry. I primarily focus in management consulting, 
and I've just posted something on LinkedIn about peak performance. And if you connect with me, you're welcome to see that and I'm happy to give you the worksheet so that you can figure out when you're at your peak and what to do when you need to rest. Awesome, thanks Michelle, thank you so much. So make sure you, again, put your links in the chat there so everybody can connect with you. So next up is Monique. I see Monique, you're not, um, you don't have video on. Are you available to talk through audio only? There we go, yes. Sorry, I apologize oh, no, that I'm video today, but I can talk through audio. Hi everybody, I'm Monique Hodgkinson. I am a marketing manager who is starting a new agency with some friends of mine. And I've been on LinkedIn probably 21 years. I've seen it change quite a bit. And I have used it in very different ways from promoting events to connecting with people to job seeking to LinkedIn learning. And I'm here because I always want to learn more. And I'm interested in networking with other people and learning more about what others are doing and how we can help each other. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And I had no idea LinkedIn had been around for 21 years. So that's like, what? <laughs> next up. So Patricia, I'm going to come to you last. Okay. So I'm going to go to the next person. We have Sonia Magruder. Oh, you're muted there. There we okay. go. Thanks for inviting me, Linda. This is my first time here as well. Um, my name is Sonia Magruder. I've got a, an organic health and wellness business, organic nutrition with Purium Health Products. I have an organization of over 43,000 people. It's a network marketing model, and I've helped many people get to six-figure incomes, and I'm using LinkedIn to try to connect with more people who want to build a residual income that's highly leveraged. So um, I'm not consistent with it, and I'm excited to learn more about this today. Awesome. Thanks, Sonia, for being here. Really connect with Sonia because she has a huge network, obviously, with 43,000, but she's an amazing person. Her and her husband do the business together. So next up, we have Tamara Graves. Tamara with two M's in the house. Hi. Um, <laughs> on. Let me unmute myself. Hi, everybody. I'm Tamara Graves. I'm a sales vice president with Park Lane Jewelry. And what I've been doing is for 21 years, I've been styling women, helping them develop their own personal style, putting on a budget. Um, I'm looking for women who want to have a fun Zoom party, a little retail therapy or happy hour. And um, if you ever are in need of cash, I'm hiring. We have full and part-time positions available. Um, we get paid weekly. And just remember, if it's too good to be true, it must be Park Lane. And as far as LinkedIn, well, <laughs> I have a LinkedIn account. That's about it. There you go. I love it at all. <laughs> awesome. Well, welcome, welcome. Glad to see you. Now, Brigetti um, is from South Africa. I know it's really, really late in the evening for her. I don't know if she's going to unmute herself, so I'll wait for a second on that and look. While well, I'm looking, um, Brigetti, there she is. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Good to meet all of you. So, I'm from Cape Town in South Africa. I'm a live stream um, producer, host, and anchor. I've used LinkedIn for many, many years. I used it to build offline communities and now I'm focusing on building online communities on the platform. Um, and I'm looking to learn some more about how I could use it better. Awesome, welcome. And I think it's like what, one o'clock in the morning for you or something like that? Actually not, it's a fairly decent hour for me today. So I'm good, thank you. Okay, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Let's see here. Um, Next up, we have, I have a phone number, 760 phone number. If you wanna unmute yourself and introduce yourself. And if not, I'll move on. Okay, now, did I miss anybody besides our speaker, Rhonda and Patricia? If I missed anybody, please raise your hand. And uh, I don't see anybody's, no hands raised. Okay, we're gonna move forward. Patricia, gonna introduce yourself. Give yourself an extra 10 seconds for being our, jumping on the spotlight to be the timekeeper today. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. That was fun. Um, okay, hi, I'm Patricia Rendley. I'm a spiritual super coach and an intuitive reader. Um, I open my gifts of intuitive, of intuition and insight uh, to help spiritual women entrepreneurs uh, reshape and release blocks around money so that she can create the financial empire that she deeply desires. Uh, and when it comes to LinkedIn, I've been on LinkedIn for a number of years. I started out in education 
and it's kind of transitioned and I still have no idea how to use LinkedIn effectively other than just receive messages. So that's it. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Well, welcome and thanks again for jumping in to be our timekeeper today. I really do appreciate that. Um, and then we're going to, uh, so first, uh, Rhonda, I want to just give your 30 second spiel and don't tell us why you use LinkedIn because you're going to talk all about LinkedIn in just a little bit. <laughs> so let's hear your 30 seconds. So um, actually what I, what I do is I help people just like you get out of the LinkedIn witness protection program so that you can get found and learn how to do the three things I teach. Present yourself, uh, profit from LinkedIn, and prospect in a non-salesy way. So that's what I'm going to teach you today and I promise I'll answer all your questions and you'll have a whole lot of fun in the process. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much everybody for participating. It doesn't look like I missed anybody. There were a couple that weren't able to unmute, but we're going to move forward to the next part of the program. So I'm going to share my screen again here. And oh, you see a picture of everybody there. Oops, wait, hold on. Bear with me a second. Okay. So I, th I thought, you know what, while I'm doing this, I should do my own little commercials in between things. And so I am. So remember to sign up for our August 29th event where Jody Kodish, she was fired from NBC. She's going to share with us why that was the best thing that ever happened to her in her life. This may be a story that you also have that maybe you were let go or fired from something. You're like, just like devastated. And then, oh my God, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Maybe it was like an ex-husband like mine. <laughs> I don't know. And then next, um, stick around after the networking meeting is over, which is 1230 Pacific time, 330 Eastern time. I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I'm working on and how you can be part of that. So next up, we have our speaker of the day is Rhonda Schur. And you know, I reached out to Rhonda and I was like, you know, I got to know a little bit more about LinkedIn. Will you come speak to my group? And she was like, of course I will, because, you know, this is what she does. She loves to help people to be able to tap into LinkedIn and use it for what it's meant for. Use it to the best of its ability. Use it so that you can prospect and you can also, like I loved how she said, you know, to connect with people and not being salesy. So that's what I'm all about. I don't like the salesy people. Like those are the ones I like, like to kind of like block right away. So with Rhonda, I do have a question, Rhonda. I'm gonna share with you quickly a question that came to me via email today. I'm, I kind of feel like it's Ask Ann Landers or something. But you know, <laughs> a, a question that came to me via email, and thank you caller for your question. The question is, how do I effectively reach out to my target audience without cluttering their inbox? So um, I'm actually going to answer that throughout my presentation because what you really want to be able to do is put that into your profile for one thing. Your profile has to be very specific and I'm going to talk about that. I have some slides that I'm going to show you. Um, but the way that you don't, what was the word again? Without being what? Um, without cluttering their inbox. So you know what? Make your message very, very clear, very, very succinct. Tell them why you want to connect with them, what you have in common. And most importantly, give them the option to either ignore you, which is totally cool, or to accept your invitation. So that's the way you don't clutter the inbox. And it's also the way you don't get into LinkedIn jail. Because getting into LinkedIn jail is a very hard thing to get out of. Thank you so much. I've been in Facebook jail. I don't know how many times. I think people were reporting me. So I just kind of like had to lay low on that, you know, but I don't want to be in LinkedIn jail because I feel like that's more of a serious offense. I feel like that's more like of a federal offense, whereas, you know, Facebook jail is more like a local offense and I can get off on a misdemeanor, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> definitely don't want to go in that LinkedIn jail. So what I'd like to do here is uh, Rhonda is going to have 30 minutes. Um, so Patricia, do you mind doing the, the timing there again? She'll have 30 minutes and then uh, Rhonda, at what point do you want her to tell you, like five minutes left or 10 yeah, minutes left? Yeah, just give me, um, you know, maybe like five or seven minutes. I'm going to do the slides. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. Um, <clears throat> there's going to be some video. And the, the per I want to preface this, okay? I have put some testimonials that are in this. And the reason that I did it is for two reasons. Number one, I want you to know that you can do it. Because everything that you're going to see today is on my LinkedIn profile. And it's all about the credibility factor. And the other thing is um, I want to be able to leave a little bit of time afterwards for Q&A because I have, um, like we talked about, a really special offer if people want to work with me or take advantage. But all of this is all about just sharing really, really high-end information about, you know what, why you should be there. So it's going to answer everybody's question that went through and talked about, um, you know, why they're on LinkedIn and what they want to get. 
Fantastic. So while Rhonda's speaking, if you have any questions, put them in the chat, in the chat here, and put the like either put a Q or Q Q Q Q Q, you know something so it stands out. Put the word question question question. I don't know whatever. Do a spotlight something, and then at the end, Rhonda, you don't have to pay attention to those questions. I'll go ahead and I'll ask you the questions at the end. Perfect. I okay. love that. That's awesome. Okay. That way you just just do your thing, girl. Just okay, let's do your my screen let's and uh, let's rock and roll. Let me just go from beginning and we'll see. Okay, so just fit. Okay, hang on one second. Slideshow from beginning. There we go. Okay, can you guys all see my slides? Just give me a thumbs up if you can see my slides. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So here's the deal. This is who is really going to benefit today. You know, what I want you to know is whether, and, and you've already done the introduction, so guess what? You're all the right people. How cool is that? You are all either a coach, consultant, a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, somebody that's branching in. Um, you know, some of you have a full-time gig and some of you have a side gig that you want to learn how to use LinkedIn for. So every single one of you are in the right place today. Thank you, Linda, for inviting them all to be here. Okay, let's, let's have some fun. We would if we could get my slide to work, right? Okay. Oh my goodness, why am I freezing? Let's see. Can you just click the space bar? Will that work? Try that. Okay, hang on. I've never had, I've done this presentation so many times. Hmm. Okay, hang on. I'm going to stop the share and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, instead of doing it um, this way, I'm actually just going to go through them one by one. If you can't get it one way, you'll get it the other. That's right. Okay? So actually, you don't get the fun fly-ins, but that's okay. That's technology. So I just want to kind of give you my backstory because, um, and the reason I share this with you is because I want you to know that if I could do this, you can do this. So you can see over here, this was me a long time ago when I got married, okay, back in 1980. And I was married for 28 years. And what happened was my marriage fell apart. Um, I got divorced, uh, my mother died, my $800,000 house was short sailed, my business flatlined, um, I had a cancer scare, and I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I needed to make money. Um, you can see I have two amazing kids. This is my 28-year-old Vanessa, my 30-year-old Stephanie. And at this time, I said, okay, and what's my superpower? And all of you have a superpower. And for me, I knew it was connecting. I knew that I knew how to connect. And so I decided that what I was gonna do was go out and sell life insurance because nobody was hiring speakers, nobody was hiring trainers. And I used LinkedIn and I went to all of the mortgage people on LinkedIn. And the reason I did that is because I knew they had my target market. Within six weeks, I was making $6,000 and within a year I was making six figures. And I figured out I hated, like, hated selling life insurance. So I actually went back to doing what I love, which is LinkedIn, because I knew that what I had created is actually a system that worked for me. And if it worked for me, it could work for any of you. But here's the best part of the story, ladies. I ended up remarrying my ex-husband with Elvis. So I have a husband, a husband, didn't have to change my name, and the kids are ours. And I'll just share the one funny part of this story. When we got married in 1980, my husband, very, you know, sort of an old fashioned guy said, just one request, don't make more money than me. When we got married the second time, he said, I have one request, please make more money than me. And LinkedIn has actually allowed me to do that. So I'm going to teach you today about the three things, present, prospect and profit. And for those of you that have mentioned that you have all of these connections and don't know what to do with them, I'm gonna actually show you what to do with them, okay? So these are just some of the statistics and this is so much better when they fly in, but it's okay. All I really want you to do is get the information. You need to know that 90% of the people on LinkedIn are also on Facebook. There's actually that number of 675 million users, it's over 700 million now. And look at this statistic right here. 94% of B2B marketers on social media use LinkedIn to push their content out. What I teach you is how to take that content that you're pushing out and get appointments. Just by a show of hands, how many of you, if you could learn how to do one thing, which is post, like, share, and comment, 
can do that so that you can, you can actually be getting two to 10 appointments a week with your ideal prospect or referral partner. How many of you could learn how to do that? Raise your hand. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna teach you. It's that simple. So I just wanna show you, this is actually a real testimonial. Hopefully the sound will play. Come on, Kirk, let's see if this will work. Oh, don't you hate it when technology doesn't work? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, well, um, not sure what's going on here. Anyway, Kirk is one of my clients and basically he's gonna, he takes out all the checks. He shows you that as a result of using the system that I provide, he made an additional $50,000 over and above what he normally makes on, in a normal year on LinkedIn. And if you go to my LinkedIn profile, you'll actually be able to see this testimonial. And I put this here because what I want you to know is that there's a place on LinkedIn for you to put that. So for those of you that are coaches, for those of you that are, you know, like Tamara, you're a perfect example. Anybody, show the proof of what somebody can actually do when they work with you. What are the benefits? And you, know, you can't pay for this stuff. So again, I apologize that you can't hear Kirk, but um, go to my website. These are just a sample of some of the clients that I've worked with. Again, I, sh I show you this not to impress you. I show you this because you wanna be able to put on your LinkedIn profile samples of, of the people that you've worked with. Why? Because if they know that these people trusted you, they'll trust you. This woman right here is the number one female influencer on LinkedIn. Her name is Jill Conrath. And you know how she became my client? I called her. And the only reason I called her was to say, Jill, I'm curious, how did you become the number one female influencer? And we had such an amazing conversation that she said, I wanna work with you. So the practice that I teach, and I apologize if I'm going fast, but I wanna tell you is, I do something called 10 before 10. I reach out to 10 people on LinkedIn before 10 a.m. And the one thing that I make sure that I say is, this is not a sales call. I will not sell you anything. And believe it or not, everybody either picks up the phone or returns the call or books time on my calendar. So that's really the secret here. So here's my question for you ladies. You know, a lot of you said you have a lot of connections that you're on LinkedIn, but does your pro, are you getting business? And does your profile speak to your ideal client, your ideal customer? And most importantly, because all of you are experts, I listen to every one of your 30 seconds. You're all amazing. However, does your profile position you that way? Does it differentiate you? And more importantly, are you getting found in searches? Or are you in a LinkedIn witness protection program? Here's Charlie, and you know, I love this expression. It's not mine, it came from one of my mentors, Stacey O'Byrne who is the founder of Pivot Point Advantage. She's actually an NLP trainer that I learned from. And she always says, make your ask bigger than your butt. And Charlie Chino, who has an amazing book called Expose and Close, talks about how just what I did for him increased his views by 33% in just five days. If you could increase your views and take those views and turn those into appointments, what would that look like? Whoever that lovely woman is who's your financial planner in this group, you're all going to want to talk to her because you're going to have so much more money potentially that you need to know what to do with it. So make sure you all connect with one another. One of the other things that's really, really important to know is that as you start sharing content and creating followers, and this is a really good thing to know, you want to follow the people that are the leaders in your industry. I have somebody in Australia, a gentleman that does what I do. He has, he's a LinkedIn expert, a Facebook expert. And we get on a call about every two weeks sharing best practices. And he said to me about a year ago, say, Rhonda, can I ask you for a favor? I'm like, sure, whatever you need. He said, well, there's a woman who puts out a list of the top 50 trainers on LinkedIn. I knew nothing about this. Would you nominate me? I said, absolutely. And unbeknownst to me, I got nominated and every month for the last year, I'm on this list of the top 50 trainers. And the part that's really cool about this is every time this list comes out, I get messages in my inbox saying, how do I work with you? So putting out content is really important. Step one, 
present. How are you showing up on LinkedIn? Remember that old expression, you never get a second chance to make a first impression? Well, the first thing you need to know is about your headshot. So LinkedIn profiles with professional headshots receive roughly 14 times more profile views, but get this, 36 times more likely to get a message on LinkedIn, okay? So what does your headshot look like? If it's a selfie, if it's a picture from your college graduation, you might want to consider changing it. And again, you can see there's Jill, this is an attorney, this is Howard Franco, here's Charlie, and here's Lorenda. These are all clients of mine, and you see how they show up. So you know what? Do your gambling at the casinos, but don't gamble with your LinkedIn profile. Don't gamble with your headshot because it can actually make a difference. You know, every one of you today showed up ready for this amazing networking program because when we show up on Zoom, you want to show up in your best light. I use a green screen because I want to make sure that people see me as a professional. I put on makeup. I know that I don't get that second chance besides the fact that it's very scary without makeup. So here's the problem. And mo this is one of my clients, Chris. Most experts show up like amateurs. So you take a look at this and you go, oh look, he's got the background, the blue background. It's just the standard blue background and his title. And his head is cut off and his picture looks kind of weird. So if somebody was looking for a company that could help them put in a misting system, you'd never find him, ever. Now look at the after. Here's all his branding. It's consistent with what he does and his website. Here's all his keywords, misting fans, misting systems. Here's the phone number that you can reach him. The gold button tells you that he's using the paid version of LinkedIn. So whenever you see that gold button, that tells you that person is serious. They're paying to play. I love the woman that made the comment. Well, every time I you know, turn around, LinkedIn changes. That is absolutely true. So if somebody said to you and you needed a misting system, you know, go visit, you know, go check out Chris. And this is what you saw. How much, you know, how much would you actually believe? How strongly would you feel versus your first impression being this? So first impressions really matter. Um, these are some of the most current statistics on LinkedIn. And again, you know, you just want to take a look at that. Um, let's jump over here again. I don't know why this isn't working, but this is Mary Beth Trauma. And Mary Beth talks about how just upgrading her profile gave her a 20% increase in her sales. So it absolutely does make a difference. And here's the funny part. I love this. I try to update my LinkedIn profile. You know, every five years or so, just keep it current, right? This is a real client. She actually looks looked like this. It's like if they don't know you and how many people have a picture but don't know the privacy settings. So when somebody is not directly connected to you, they have no photo and you have no idea what she does. She is literally in the witness protection program. If you want to get out of witness protection, people have to be able to, to find you to do business with you. So how many of you are this person? And this actually spins. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, he's not spinning but you're spinning your wheels trying to figure out LinkedIn. So let's talk about the banner, okay? Does your banner tell people what you do? Does it brand you? Does it separate you from your competitors? Is it an attention grabber? And does it act as a branding mechanism that's consistent with your website and other social media platforms? So for example, you know, any one of you you know, even uh, Linda will show yours in a minute. Okay, yours is a really good banner. Um, what you want to not do is have this. Then everybody's just kind of left wondering. This is what mine looks like. And what you'll see here is my headshots professional. It tells you all the services I offer. I use a Google phone number. I don't want people calling my direct cell number. And here are all of the key words that will tell people what, so that I get found in the searches. And I typically get found on average about every 90 days up to 3,000 people find me. Would you like 3,000 people looking for you? Absolutely. 
And here is the cool thing. I love the lady that said, everything changes. It used to be you could only put 120 characters here. You can now put 240. It's like, I don't know when LinkedIn's gonna change it, but that's what you can do. So does your headline, which is what I just showed you, grab the attention of the person reading your profile. Now it's 240. Does it separate you from your competitors? Or is it like Chris and it just gives your job title? And does it introduce your about section? So look at this superstar. Here's Linda. Yay. Okay. And by the way, before I forget, I want to remind you and request of you at the end of this, if you haven't connected with Linda, please connect with her and send her a recommendation for doing this awesome job that she does. You cannot send enough recommendations that are heartfelt. So that's my request of you today. Send her, a re if you haven't connected yet, send her a personal connection request, but also write her a recommendation. She deserves it. She puts a lot of work into this. So take a look at her banner. This is all of the books bringing women action together, action takers together through collaboration and cooperation. And there's her website. Great job, Linda. Okay, everybody, let's clap for her because she really did it. And you can see underneath her headline, she actually tells you what she does. It's important. So my question for all of you is, does your profile inspire confidence? Because you're two times more likely for people to be confident in the information they find here than on any other site. Moral to this story, don't underestimate LinkedIn. Here's your about section. The first three lines are what people see, and then it goes to see more. So does your about section tell people what you do? Does it highlight your achievements? Separate you from your competitors? If you can legally provide a sample list of clients, do that. And then tell people a little bit of something about you on a personal level, how they can relate to you, okay? And make sure you write your profile in first person. So here's Nicole, another client of mine, and Nicole's an event planner, and she was up for a $30,000 engagement, and she was told that the only thing they were going to consider was her LinkedIn profile and the way she interviewed. Well, her profile didn't show that she had experience in the pharmaceutical industry, and her website didn't. So I upgraded her profile, and she got that $30,000 engagement. Not a bad ROI, okay? And the reason is most of the other people that had applied to this particular engagement did had crappy LinkedIn profiles. So have you differenti differentiated yourself from your competitors and does your profile tell visitors why they should work with you? The second step is prospecting, okay? That's not being salesy. Please never send somebody a message that says, Hi, um, I'd love to, to learn how I can help you get your kids through college, um, plan for retirement. They don't even know you, and yet they want you to get financially naked, right? So make sure your message is one that is always about how can I be of service and tell them why you want to connect with them. This is one of my favorite slides because perception is everything. Think about it. You know, you look at a LinkedIn profile and the way you think you look might be okay. However, how everybody else is looking at it is quite different. I remember about a year and a half ago when I was driving with a good friend of mine and she said, Rhonda, can you pull over? I'm going to drive. I said, what are you talking about? She said, you are dangerous. You can't see the lights. I had no idea that I had cataracts. And I went and had the cataract surgery and then all of a sudden the world looked like this. Well, imagine that with your LinkedIn profile. You don't know how people are perceiving you. And here's what I would suggest. Find somebody that knows you, who knows what you do, okay? And ask them, you know, based on how you know me and how you have worked with me and look at my LinkedIn profile, would you recommend me based on this? If the answer is no, do one of two things. Take your profile down or put it, or actually upgrade it. Think about LinkedIn as the place where people search like on Google, and there are hundreds and millions of people that are searching every day. You need to know the keywords that people are using to search for you with what your particular um, 
gift is, what those key words are, right? So if you are somebody that, there was a woman I heard who is uh, at the very top of your network marketing company, you want to let people know that because people want to align themselves with somebody that actually knows what they're doing and that can get, you know, can help you to create that income. Make sense? So what about Google? Have you ever Googled, each other, Googled yourself? And I love to, to say this, you know, you, you don't go blind from Googling yourself, okay? You should actually Google yourself pretty often because you wanna know, and when my kids were young, they Googled all the moms and they came back and they go, oh my God, is your mom famous? Because they found 10 pages and they go, no, she doesn't even have a job, she just talks. I mean, I thought that was really funny, but what happens is, this is when I Googled myself, it comes up first. And there's probably 10 pages because every time you give a talk, every time you write something in a blog, typically Google picks it up. So I encourage you all to go and Google yourself, okay? So let's talk about profit. That's, where you, that, that's really what it's about. It, yes, but it's also about the relationships. Really, the relationships will lead you to revenue. So you need to be able to identify who's your ideal client or referral partner. You know, I, I'll never forget the lady in the cosmetics industry. And I said, um, you know, who's your ideal client? She said, oh, anybody with skin. I'm like, really? You know, elephants have skin, right? You know, so you want to be specific. And I love the expression, to be terrific, you need to be specific. So you need to be able to, to define your ideal client by title, industry, experience, location, education, interest. If you don't know who they are, you'll never find them. And sadly, they'll never find you. So step into the shoes of that ideal client or referral partner and make sure that your profile tells people who you are, what you do, why are you different? Why do people choose to work with you? What results do you get? And where's that third party proof, right? What's your experience? What's your education? And accomplishments is my favorite category because it's where you can put anything under projects. So make sure that when you're doing your profile, that that's the perspective you're doing it from. And create that tribe of people that want or need your services. It's really important because you need to know who's gonna be visiting. Is it a prospect, a partner? Maybe it's the press. I just had a client who told me um, that she had somebody from Jack Canfield's office reach out to her because they'd been following her on LinkedIn and they wanted to talk to her about collaborating on a book. Now, if Jack Canfield's office called me, wow, I would be just over the top. And her LinkedIn profile did that. So you need to know, you know who's going to be looking at you and how you're showing up. This is actually a, a really cool story. I'll go very quickly because I want you to just know the power of the paid version of LinkedIn. I was helping a friend of mine who's a, an image consultant. And she said, Rhonda, could we just jump on a Zoom and you can show me some of the other image consultants? And one of the people that I happened to find was Tara. Well, you know, that was the end of it. I showed it to her. We were looking through my profile. And the next day, this is the message I got from Tara. Hey, can you tell me more about your services? And I called her and I said, Tara, how'd you find me? And she said, oh, I didn't. You looked at my profile and I've been looking for somebody that can help me just like you. So Tara hired me. My friend got a day at the spa and I never would have gotten Tara as a client other than the fact that I was just helping her. So the other thing that's important, and I know you're drinking from a fire hose, ladies. I apologize, but I want to give you the information. You need to get skills and endorsements. Thank you. So skills and endorsements, you see that there, you wanna to get to the 99 in each category. If you're smart, find a few people and say, listen, I'll endorse you, you endorse me, okay? You, because the first three are the ones that actually are the ones that show up, okay? Now, let's talk about one of my favorite things, posting, sharing, resharing, and commenting. Okay, this was a post I found on Facebook. All I did was post it and I want you to look at the numbers. I had over 7,000 views, 238 likes, 27 comments, and it was reshared. This is actually an out-of-date slide. It was reshared over 20 times. The people that I can reach out to are all the people that engaged with me. And if you don't think, if you think posting something is hard, 
then just post something that somebody else posted. This guy posted this. I didn't post it. It wasn't mine. I just shared it. And look at that. Almost 10,000 views, 347 likes, and 38 comments. That gives me all these people to reach out to that I can talk to. So what do you need? You need a toolbox, all right? I am a big believer that if you want to make money from LinkedIn, you need Sales Navigator. You need to spend, and that's $79 a month. Um, you need a blueprint. You just need a system. The way that I made six figures and my clients make six figures is they follow a system. It's 60 minutes a day. You need a few templates, a few shortcuts, and most importantly, if you don't get anything, know that you need a professionally keyword optimized profile. Okay, take a breath. And now I want to give you a gift. How's that? So I know Linda knows about this, but if you guys want to set up your own landing pages and you want to set up all of that cool stuff, take a picture of this page. Groove Pages is basically like ClickFunnels and Infusionsoft and every, it's everything that you could imagine. It's free. They also have an upgrade on it. Um, just go get the free version. Just go get it, download it. It's absolutely free. If you want to know more information, ask me. I just created a landing page from it that is unbelievable. Very, very cool. So take a picture of that slide. And knowledge is power. So I love Steve Martin. Be so good that they can't ignore you. Be the expert. Show up as the expert. And here's the question that I have for you. How much money are you losing by not having a system to generate those two to 10 appointments a week? So I have two special offers if you wanna work with me. Again, I think it would be unfair to give you all this information and not give you an opportunity. So if you want to, what I've done is basically we can spend 30 minutes one-on-one, -on -one, go over your LinkedIn profile. It's only $97, um, it's on Zoom, I record it. And I'm gonna give you suggestions, I'll show you. You can ask me anything but my age or weight on that call and I will help you. Um, you can take a snapshot of this. This is how you pay for it. You can use Venmo or PayPal. It's $97. Um, it's recorded. And you know, we all go to the doctor and get our annuals, but how many of you had your LinkedIn, you know, actually looked at, audited, and had a professional who's done thousands of these tell you how to do it? And then finally, the other offer that I have for you is, that's not it. There you go. It's a done for you. And if you want to be like my clients that get the results, it's normally I charge $2,500. You can ask Linda. That's what I've been charging for a long time. It's $9.97. You have to take advantage of it today. I give you a bunch of bonuses, but basically I'm going to create a custom banner for you. The headline, we're going to jump on a call for about an hour, go over that intake form. And then this is, the, this is really the best part. I'm going to do a 45 minute, it's really 60. I believe in under promise and over deliver. And I'm going to show you how you search. I'm even going to show you how to search for your competitors and not let them know you're searching. Okay. I'm going to show you the exact language and scripts that you use to get an appointment without being salesy. I'm going to tell you who to follow because if you want to know who to follow, I'm going to give you that list. I'm actually even going to give you a list of the places that I find the posts that get me views of hundreds of thousands, uh, really of hundreds. I think the most that I've ever gotten was 15,000, but I've gotten up to over 400 likes. Can you imagine having 400 likes of people that you could actually be reaching out to? It's one out of four people with the system that I teach will book an appointment with you. So how you take advantage of that, again, take a photo, one payment, 997, and you can ask anybody that knows me, um, and I know Lorna, we've talked, right, in Costa Rica. She knows what I charge. So it's $9.97. Um, you can do Venmo or PayPal. And um, finally, connect with me on LinkedIn and go to rondashore.com, which that site is going to get a complete facelift. Um, but right now, you can go there and you can get my free planner. And my last one is any questions? So I'll just put this back up. I'm going to stop the share. I apologize that you didn't get to see all my cool animation. 
and that I went pretty fast. But um, again, I'm going to take questions. I'm going to stop the share. And uh, Linda, in the chat, if you want to just put some of this in there for me, I would so appreciate it. Um, or if you want to reach out to me and you have a question, um, just send me an email. And my email is, should I put that on here? I didn't even put it. Um, unleashing, U-N-L-E-A-S-H-I-N-G, LinkedIn at gmail.com. So you can reach out to me that way. Okay. How am I doing for time? Did I make it? Awesome. You did. You have uh, about five more minutes left for Q&A. So as far as the first question that came up, uh, how do I effectively reach out to my target audience without cutting their inbox? The recommendation is to not be salesy. <laughs> not be salesy. Be very specific in your message. Okay. Tell them why you want to connect with them and also put what's in, you know, we have common connections. Um, we both went to XYZ school. Let them know. And the words that I use are, I'd love to connect to see if there's any way you can leverage my network. For those of you that have 500 or more, make the offer for people to leverage your network. It's, it's always about giving. I had somebody reach out to me. This was their introduction. Linda, you look very popular. Let's connect. <laughs> it's like, okay, let me... <laughs> Would you so, like my pom-poms? I'm a cheerleader. I'm popular, yeah, exactly. right? <laughs> exactly. Well, I didn't see any questions come in. Okay, how would you work with someone that is under compliance rules and still achieve the same results? So in the financial industry? Yeah, so I do that all the time. I have lots of clients that are in the financial industry. And here's the answer to that. There's an elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is the compliance. So what you actually say in your about section is the reason you do not see any recommendations or endorsements is because of compliance reasons. It is not a reflection of the work that I do. And give them a link to book a complimentary 30 minute consultation to learn how you can help them. So, you know, because people don't realize that there are compliance issues and whatever you can put through compliance, do because putting stuff out there, 80% of what people should post, by the way, should be motivational and inspirational. 20% should be related to your industry. Exactly. Post every day. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. Next one is when setting appointments, are you messaging them or getting them to go to an appointment setting form or like a calendar or what? So three ways. Yes. Always use a calendar program. I do it with messaging always. However, there's three ways to message. One is just send a typed message. The second way, my favorite, is to send a video message. And the platform I like is Dub, D-U-B-B. -B. You can get a free subscription for two weeks. And then here's the secret, ladies. Don't tell anybody. But if you don't renew it at two you know, pay for it at two weeks, they send you a message and say, oh, did you not have enough time? And they'll extend it out for another two, <laughs> another two weeks. Um, and then the third way is my favorite, actually. And that's just using your phone. And sending an audio message, it's the quickest way for somebody to get a response. But remember to always, always, always put a link to your calendar because if they can't book on your calendar, you can't talk to them. Mm, good stuff, good stuff. Now, when you send the audio, uh, do you recommend that they put some, some sort of message that says, here's a little audio or something? No, because when you do the audio, it shows up as an audio. You just click on it and it plays. I just recommend that underneath it, you put the link to your calendar. So in your audio message, it would say, Linda, um, you know what? Thanks so much for liking my post about Mark Cuban. Love to know how you've been doing with COVID. If you're up for it, let's jump on a call. Here's a link to my calendar. And let's make sure we keep it in the no-sale zone. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, next one is, how much is it to have the paid LinkedIn account? Uh, Sales Navigator is $79 a month, and that is um, much, much better than premium because it gives you 12 or 13 additional um, search filters. Um, premium, I think it's like $29, but it doesn't give you anywhere near as much. And if you do it annually, it's 20% less, and they give you a free month trial. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Next is, as we have time for one more um, question here, was I'm reaching out to people to offer an opportunity to look at the possibility of becoming an associate in my organization. Since people are looking mostly for jobs, is LinkedIn a good place to look? Absolutely. But again, how is your profile positioned and how are you messaging them? Because you know what? People aren't interested in you until you're interested in them. Okay, so yes, it's an excellent, excellent place to build your network. 
However, you need to do it in the right way. It's kind of like what you said, you know, it's like a first date, right? I'll never forget, I had somebody that reached out to me, Linda, and he said, hi, how would you like to give a young starting up financial advisor a chance to help you with your portfolio? And I'm like, you're younger than my kids. I don't even know you and you want me to get financially naked with you? So I wrote him back and I said, I appreciate that you reached out to me. You might want to reconsider your messaging. I don't know that this would be very successful since I would never work with somebody that I don't know who solicits me before they want to get to know who I am and what I do. Yeah, especially in the financial industry, right? Because like you said, it, like, I like that financially naked because it's true. You're, you're sharing everything with them about your finances. And, and I, I was old enough to be his mother and he said, how'd you like to give a young kid a chance? I'm like, hello, yeah. I already have two young kids. You know, they're 28 yeah. and 30. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, so premium is $59 a month. Um, so I, I had and some really great- By the way, you can get premium. I think it's almost free can't get sales navigator free, but if you are a veteran, you can. Oh, that's great tip. Great tip. So we might have some vets in here. Yeah. So how many veterans do we have in the house? Raise your hand. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm raising my hand just to like woot woot, but I'm doing the woot woot raise your hand. But thank you so much for your service. I love it. So let's see. I got the Google phone number thing. Great tip. You know, lots of great tips, of course. Um, I loved how you said when you're reaching out to people, put in your message there, this is not a sales call. That way they don't have that, um, that immediate defense, right? Being put on the defense and stuff. But so much great information. You guys, $97 to hook up with Rhonda. Rhonda, go ahead and drop you know, links, how they can connect with you, your calendar link, you know, all those links right there so they can find out how they, can they get the $97 deal if they want to do that with you and all the other things you have. Somebody wanted you to drop your um, Groove link in there as well. Um, Sonia Magruder just ordered your done for you package. How do I book with you, Rhonda? Um, get so here's the email. I'll put all of this in the chat. And by the way, do you guys know how to save the chat? Um, yeah. Click the three oh. dots and um, that's how you save the chat, by the way. And I'm going to put the Groove page link in here. This thing is so cool. I cannot even tell you. And Lindy. Yeah. You know, and they're just getting started. I'm going to do some trainings on it as well, like teaching people how to use it and stuff, but it's just getting started. So you guys, was Rhonda amazing or what? Yes. Fantastic. And guess what? It's time for a commercial break. So hold on one second while I get this figured out. This has been kind of fun for me. Uh, so our next session again is August 29th, where Jody Coda, she's going to be sharing you know, how being fired from NBC was the best thing that happened to her in her life. And then after that, um, I'm going, after the meeting is over, I'm going to share with you some of the things I'm working on and share how you can be part of them. Some of them are free things and some of the, them are paid things, but I'm going to share with you different opportunities to work with me. And next up is our wild card. I see Scott Schilling is in the house. He's the vice president of Be Connected. It's a newer platform out there that's giving you opportunities to connect with other people in your same industry, people in other industries. And he's going to show us, show us what it's all about, what Be Connected is all about. And you can connect with us on Be Connected at womenactiontakers.bee, connected with a K.com. So welcome, um, Scott Schilling. Welcome. Happy to have you here today. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate the opportunity. Rhonda, good to see you again. You too. Where, where is she? Awesome. Awesome. So thank you so much for showing up today. And so Scott, we have, we have 13 minutes on the clock. So can you share with us in 13 minutes what Be Connected is all about? Sure. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank Be you. Connected is really a, uh, it's an online platform for connections, for collaboration, for meeting the business contacts in a different way. There's some great properties. LinkedIn is a great property uh, and does some amazing things. And, uh, you know, 760 million folks of which then many pay to, to get the sales navigator portion, things like that. Facebook, a great property, 2.4 billion visitors a month, except sometimes you tend to get lost in the crowd. We are creating a intentional community our desire is to have a million users in the first 12 months. Uh, we are a connection platform, permission-based membership platform. So literally, the easiest way to think of us is we're dating software for the business world. We, we've taken three technologies and mashed them together. The first is algorithm software from the dating world. Um, 
you take an algorithm, you look for certain pieces of information, tried true for 20 years, eHarmony, Christian Mingle, folks like that. Uh, I like blonde hair, blue eyes, long walks on a sunny beach is great for a personal meeting, gets you sued in business. So we, we change the algorithms, we change the questions. What's your occupation? What's your location? What's your offer? Who's an ideal customer? Uh, who's a great collaborative partner? So the algorithms can pull together and profile match the optimum customer to the optimum vendor. And you can do that in nanoseconds. Literally, you get six profiles up in less than a second. Second thing is we put in a direct customer search. So um, if I want a chiropractor in Scottsdale, Arizona, I look for a chiropractor in Scottsdale, Arizona. Let's say I'm a massage therapist. Now I have a great collaborative partner. And the third is a disruptive social media presence or, or an online presence. Again, LinkedIn, wonderful property. We're not saying either or, we're saying both and. You know, it's, it's how do you fight through some of the noise and through some of the things that are there. One of our members said it to me best this way. I said, so what was the most exciting about Be Connected? He said, you know what? I'm really looking forward to not being ignored anymore. And so it's one of two things, either people are being ignored or they're being descended upon and then having to filter through and people say, well, but free platforms are, you know, are out there. Well, free isn't free. Free is time and energy. So I, if I've got to sort through those different things, and again, my under, not being a woman, thank you. Uh, thank you, Captain Obvious, right? But my understanding is, unfortunately, far too many women um, kind of get accosted on, on some of the quote-unquote free platforms under the guise of uh, let's connect for business, but it typically doesn't start that way. Again, I've not had that issue, but, but I'm sensitive to it because it's not right for any, we should all respect, honor, and dignify each other along the way. So anyway, Be Connected is, is immediate connections in the touch of a button within our membership base. So it, the next thing we do is we add $27,000 worth of education along with your membership. So these are some of the best of the best in the world at driving traffic, funnels, um, I mean, online strategies, uh, branding. That's included in your membership. Why do we do that? Uh, spoiler alert, business will never be done the same way again after this pandemic. Somebody stretched the rubber band to a new and different size. It's not going back to the way it was. So we, we are providing the education to help members in fact be able to modify their maybe their brand or how they sell or e-commerce or whatever those things and that's included as part of the membership it's not our, anybody else's job to build our business it's our job to help you build yours and so the education is there and then we offer member benefits we have top tier webinar platforms available 500 person webinar rooms live streaming to youtube and so much more only $12.99 a month. Now that is the $164 package bought from that company outside of our membership. So again, we, we offer member benefits and savings. We also give everybody a $2,500 travel savings passport just for joining the membership. Again, we are working to consistently provide value to the membership. So what is it? It is instant access at the touch of a button to new prospective customers literally around the world. We're in 17 countries already. We haven't even launched yet. We launch officially September 1st. So that's what's so exciting about this. The other side of it is, is really having the capability to, and I know this is a whacked out example, no way it could ever happen. You're stuck at home for 60 or 90 days and you, you can't go to a networking meeting or you don't have access to a group like this who's so wonderful. How do you meet new people? Well, within Be Connected, it's literally at the touch of a button in nanoseconds. You, you now have six people to choose from. Again, rating ba uh, permission-based and rating-based. So we have a one through five-star rating system, just like Uber or Lyft. You get to rate the other person. So it's kind of a no spam zone, right? If, if you are not, if you're a bad actor, 
you get called out as a bad actor. The algorithms are tuned so that the more four and five star ratings you get, the more profiles you'll be matched with to your benefit. If you're a two or one star, you're flagged. Two stars will coach, counsel, and guide you how to become better. One stars, we reserve the right to remove people from the platform. We want no bad actors. We want people there for quality and integrity sake to do business on purpose with integrity. So again, I know that's really quick and a lot of stuff, um, but again, LinkedIn has done a wonderful job of, of helping people for a lot of years. Again, that's how Rhonda and I uh, met because she came on to learn about Be Connected. Again, the, the point is it's not an either or, it can be a both and to refine your searches and do it. And we've got our version, they've got Sales Navigator, we've got the Connection Generator only opportunity now, which was never available before, 99 bucks, refer to new people, you never pay again the rest of your life. That's a long time, hopefully. So again, there are new, there are new possibilities for you there. Again, if it works, there, there you see the app, that's the member search. If I wanted a chiropractor in a certain area, I, I would uh, do that. If I want a doctor in Sweden, I could put doctor in Sweden and Annika Sorensen would come up. So <laughs> the point is there's so many cool things. And then you've got some some great folks in there. Diane is just a wonderful lady. Uh, it's just funny, some of the people who popped up because um, I know many of them. I, I know virtually all of them, actually. And um, just some really, really wonderful people. We had a, a double PhD join the platform yesterday. And so as people were talking in a group like this, they said, how good is the quality or or what's the level of quality of the people in the platform? A double PhD is pretty good. And and a woman who has done, done over 400 events in her career to serve women. So, I mean, just some really, really great people. And the only thing we want to do is support you the very best we possibly can. So, Thanks, Scott. I was trying to share my screen, but I realized that I don't have any information up there because I just started it yet yeah, last night like right before i went to bed so i yep. also oh, renee sharing her screen so if you could maybe just like walk us through some of the things that like the the benefits of it and why somebody should um look even look at be connected yeah i mean you're you're seeing it on the left the connection generator you just hit the button and six people will show up now if you just started it you're not going to have near the access or or near the breadth to people that other people will have the other thing is you see down below the second tab from the bottom is the university. Oh, there I am. Hey, see, you can, you so, can. So, yes, yeah, Scott is a connection of mine. Um, I pulled, I have actually, um, <laughs> this week I've got like, I don't know, like 21 or 20. I've got a lot of people that I, you know, you could just see more. I've connected with these people and actually yeah. what I want you to see, Scott, you can probably speak to this more like for Scott, for example, so, you know, that button is view profile. So I'm going to pull his up because I'm pull sure his is done. <laughs> yeah, pull it up. That'd I'm doing great. it. I'm doing it. So this is, this is your billboard. This is your humble brag. Now, none of this personal information is available unless the connection has been accepted, unless it's permission-based. But now with that, it tells, I get to tell everybody who I am, what I've done. If you keep on going down to my portfolio, you see my media kit, you see lead magnets, you see the books I've written. There are actually videos of me on stage at the Think and Grow Rich World Tour. I'm a professional speaker. So it, it becomes my spot. Those are member ratings uh, from relationships already. Um, th that sucks. Scott, what now is my new book? So I'd like to ask you a question. So sure. if, if, Renee, if you scroll up just a little bit and it shows, um, it looks like there's books and you media and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, is this stuff that we can also share outside of Be Connected? Like, is there a link for public viewing as well? Yeah, there is. And, and so we actually gift everybody their own website. Oh. And, and so you have your own website and own property to be able to put out there to serve other people. Again, our, our desire is to serve the marketplace. It's to help you grow your business. That's why, again, it's not an either or, it's a both and, right? How can we help people? I was talking to a, a LinkedIn expert yesterday and they have some wonderful packages. And I said, I just have to ask one question. 
do 100% of the people you talk to buy one of your packages? He said, well, of course not. And I said, so if you had a different offering that could provide a different approach, would that be valuable to you? He goes, well, that's the smartest thing I've heard today. So again, it's, it's, this is about you growing your business. So as a professional speaker, you can see all my properties there, all my social medias, all my, so you have your own billboard to again, share your greatness, your genius, whatever's important to you, however it's important to you from that side. But we give you your own website, your own Be Connected website, and this is, the, this is Renee's back office and so once you have your own website, you can go in and you've got access to this community. Our desire is to have a million users in the first 12 months. We're in 17 countries already. And again, we launched September 1st to the marketplace. Oop, you're Linda, you're, you're muted. muted. Linda. Ah, you see that thing pops up there. So you haven't even launched yet and you already see the vision of of a million people. How do you expect to get there? Well, very easily. I, you know, as an example, because I've done 2,500 live events, I've shared the stage with every name, you know, I'm very fortunate to, I've got one friend who's got 10, a, a database of 10 million people who have purchased from him wow. and his business over time. That's one friend. Wow. Um, so, okay. so, our affiliates or many of the folks who have come in have tremendous reach. We will probably, the day we launch, we will probably go out to collective databases minimally of 20 million. So in the reality is it's probably going to be more than that. We are doing things, again, it's not everybody else's task to grow our company. It's our task. Mm -hmm. But what we are doing as an example, and Renee uh, is a recipient of this, today we just showed we are gifting everybody marketing funnels to drive them to their property, to their site. We are, we are producing all the videos. We are doing everything. Again, not your job to sell us, our job to sell us and our job to make it so ridiculously easy. If you can text or post or make a phone call, that's all you got to do. That's nice because marketing, well, I think most people would agree that marketing is the, the most difficult task like for us who are not marketers. You know, I'll raise my hand big on that one. So We're, well, we're gifting that to everybody. That's awesome. So, well, and, and, you know, we're creating all the lead magnets. We're creating all the videos, all the, all done for, all the marketing is done for you. All you have to do is post it. That's awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for being here. You are our first male to join the Women Action Takers, our first um, wild card, as I'm going to be calling the males that are joining us. Well, thank, thank you. you. Just so you know, my brand is Heart Centered Selling, and my market is 30 to 60-year-old women. So oh, there you go. <laughs> I, right I speak place. woman. I speak woman. You speak woman. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You know, be connected. I, you. I checked it out. You know, Renee shared it with, with me uh, you know, a few weeks ago, and then she shared it with me again. And I'm a very, I'm a skeptic, just so you know. I gave her the grill big time about this platform because I want to make sure that, you know, any, even if I'm just investing a dollar, I want to make sure it's going to the right place because the That's dollar smart. equates to my time. Yeah. Right. So it's like, how much time is I going to be investing? So I, I checked it out. I gave it the thorough, I like really grilled her big time. And I jumped into it last night. They have this thing going on. Uh, Scott, you can make, you, you got less than 30 seconds to share about the affiliate program. That's jo uh, stop. And well, tonight the price is going up, I guess tonight at 10 well, because or something. Every the price is going up $200 because we're giving them $25,000 worth of marketing. So, but you get that, you can still get that at $200 less up until midnight tonight. Until so midnight the, tonight. the reality is, uh, by the way, Linda, I'll do everything I can to help build you and your organization as well. So awesome. Scott at scottshilling.com. I'm here for you. That's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You made it. <laughs> you made it. Scott at Scott Schilling, S-C-H-I-L-L-I-N-G.com. So with that, I do like to end on time. I like to respect everybody's time. We started on time at 11. We're ending at time 
at 12.30. I hope you enjoyed today's Women Action Takers networking event, where you had an opportunity to meet other women who are movers and shakers in the world, trying to make a, a positive impact. I'm not trying, making a positive impact on the planet. And next time, remember, we have Jody Kodish. She was fired from NBC, and it was the best thing that ever happened to her. So come by and listen to her story, how she talks about that, as well as if you're interested, stick around. I'm going to share with some of the things that I'm working on and how you can be part of them if you're interested. Sorry, Scott, you're not invited to that. So you'll have to leave the meeting. But thank you so much for being here. Let's hear it for our first wild card. I'm honored to be the first wild card. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Everybody have a great day. So thanks for tuning in. And I'm going to call the meeting to end. And if you want to stick around and hear what I'm up to, that would be awesome. I will go ahead and stop the recording. And thanks everybody for being here today and have a beautiful, beautiful Saturday.